Hey friends, it's me, Gerd, and it's time to actually finish this, unlike the disaster that happened last time. So, uh, I'm going to start this out by just explaining exactly what happened with this uh, glitch here. So, you may have guessed that it probably had something to do with Salad. Um, it had something to do with Salad, but because of the weapon he was holding. Now, let's uh, turn off animations here. So, when you attack the Demon King, just uh, let's, let's throw Seth here for an example. You see that I turned the animations off and it forced the animations to be on. So let's uh, watch our, our glorious doggo here deal zero damage. You know, Seth is usually supposed to be the best unit in the game, not being able to even scratch the final boss because he is just a Gwilgi. Now, Erica, she has an evil eye equipped. Usually you're not allowed to equip monster weapons because you're not allowed to get them. Somehow you're able to do it when you have them. Now. When you attack with a monster weapon normally, it de it will default to not doing an animation. However, it seems that whatever Foam Ortiz has that forces animations to be on takes priority over this uh, deactivation of animations or your animations being off in general. So attacking him causes it to crash and sound awful like that. I won't subject you to the ear rape any longer. So. Basically, what I believe is happening is that it's trying to find an animation to use and just can't. Anyway, let's uh, go and actually beat this map now. This is my second time recording this because earlier I was stupid and forgot that I turned down the audio in VBA. I mean my official Game Boy Advance. But, as expected, uh, Murr's going to be doing all the heavy lifting here. But let's... uh. Let's appreciate this trans- this, uh, Battle of the Beasts. It'd be great if Murr crit, and I'm like- <laughs> It'd be really funny if I just arrow danced for a second and it worked. But, I should have traded her the Hoplon Guard first, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I've seen Fomertis' crit animation once, and it made me very angry. <laughs> the only time I've seen it was in the, um... Reverse recruitment run I did in this game. But I figured out a battle plan. That's pretty much guaranteed to work. And by that, I mean it'll probably work. It's going to require one fairly unreliable hit. But other than that, it's more or less fine. So uh, I have Mulder alive for this now. Main difference is I have... I have a person to warp, to warp Murr up there to get in the first hit, and then use Latona. Easy. Easy video game. Now former Chiefs is as easy as I remember him being. So there's a, there's a possibility we can do this without any casualties, but it's uh, not very likely. So let's just see what he does. He always spawns the monsters, and is he summoning the same ones he did every time? It looks like he does. I'm not sure if there's any randomness applied to the monsters, but... Eh. Okay. So, uh, Garrick's going to attack. Hit him once with Nidhogg. And the interesting thing is, despite the fact that it didn't know what animation to load for trying to attack with a monster weapon, somehow Nidhogg being a magic bow makes the game able to realize that it's supposed to shoot the bow and then load the fire animation. Very strange. Very strange. And I'm... I'd be very curious to find out how this game is actually coded, but... Now, just imagine how much easier this would be if I had a dancer. I feel like whatever arguments people in the past, but before everyone knew better as to why dancers might not be good, are being instantly disproven by this clip right here. Uh, I would have won the fight this turn had I had a dancer at my disposal. Because a dancer is essentially your best unit twice. In this case, my best unit is Murr. I need two of her. And one, because one just isn't cutting it. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. I never, I never knew you can go around to the back of a sprite. All right. We're learning something every day here. Okay. So if uh, Tana hits twice, then, or if she manages, wait, hold on a second. Never mind. For a second, I thought that he had like a different hit rate. <laughs> based on the, the direction I was attacking him from. So if Tana dodges, then uh, we've pretty much got this. But Tana's probably going to die. I'm very sad that Tana has to die after all she's done for me. 
And after all, all we've, all the time we've spent appreciating her sprite here, but it had to be done. I wasn't dealt a very good hand here. I was dealt a very limited hand. All right, so we have two options. Uh, one of them is risky. One of them is Erica doing it, and the other one is Natasha doing it. Um, I'm gonna try to have Natasha do it just so I can give myself two chances, and because it'll just feel right if we have our glorious holy maiden here being the one who kills the demon king. Let's go! There we go. We did it. Victory. Watch him fade away. I, I kind of wish he... Yeah, there we go. I kind of wish he, his head, like, tilted back a bit as he was roaring. That would have made that even cooler. But we did it. That's it. It's over, isn't it? Yep. It's all over. It's all over. All right. I'm not going to go through the credits. I'm not going to read all of the, the battle records because that's going to be very... That's going to take take too long. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you've been following the streams, thanks for doing that. If not, why not? Go watch them. They're there. We're having a good time. Everyone's chatting. It's great. It's great. So uh, stay tuned for more streams. Hopefully I won't have to finish them off stream ever again. <laughs> My name's Gerd. Have a good day.